This is the vault. I paid a million a quarter for this house. I think the house is worth a million and a half now. I'm not used to touching a man That's with no right. clothes on. <laughs> I was on a run. Some great guys from Patrick Bet David, they asked us to come by and say hello. Who picks your clothes out every day? Your mommy? Good to see you, buddy. This is a residential community. Warning, photo ID required. We're at the house in Parkland. This was our corporate housing. We sold the hotel. We don't need a house anymore. I got the dream team here. They're gonna come in and get this house ready. We're gonna look for every little thing that needs to be done to make it look presentable to put it on the market. Probably pressure wash all this shit. Ugh. It's looking pretty rough. Can this door be painted? Yes. It's gotta be sanded first. Sanded? Yeah. Nah, use some good paint, go over that shit, fuck it. <laughs> All right. Use a little tiny brush, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, like the one you use in school. Yeah, yeah, art class. Or a better looks at him in prison. <laughs> All right, so this room here. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. Yeah. We're not yeah, gonna mess nice. with this, yeah. yeah. Dining room. She actually kept up the place pretty good, looks good. But we ain't seen it all yet. Can we fix this shit here or what? I don't know. Wood dough, wood dough, wood dough. Put a little wood dough in there, stuff some paper in there here. I mean, cabinets look good. Floor is good. What the fuck happened here? Patch and paint. All right, I don't know. This room, Manny, you gonna deal with getting all this shit out of here? It just needs a good cleaning out, Manny. All right, well, let's keep going. I don't know. You know, whatever wall looks ugly. It's just, I mean, a lot of this is all different colored paint. All right, this wall here is fucked. You gotta do the best you can, you know? I don't wanna repaint this whole freaking house. No, no. Hopefully you'll find some purple that matches or some shit, I don't know. Or hang a picture over it. Honestly, she was here, living here with four kids for a long time. I thought the place was gonna need a lot more work. It doesn't. All the place needs is finish cleaning it out, a little touch up paint here, a little patch of paint, some cleaning, and we're done. Take this piggy to the market. How are we gonna get up here and clean this? All that bird, rat shit, whatever it is over there, bird shit. I didn't even know this house it was this big. I don't know, if somebody wanted a satellite, I guess they can leave it, right? Can we do anything with this right here? We could always do something here with mulch or some shit. We don't actually have to move furniture yet, because she ain't got nowhere to put it. And in fact, it almost stages the house by having it. This couch kind of shabby, but these chairs look nice, you know? There's no major repairs to do. She took care of the house real well. But let me tell you something. I looked at the market. I paid a million a quarter for this house. I had to bid it up, but the market was so hot back then. I think the house is worth a million and a half now. I might make a few bucks on it. Can't beat that, baby. I didn't have a lot of plans that night. I had to go down the river anyway. Why not stop at Rivertail and have whoever's in the neighborhood stop by and say hello while I'm on my yacht? Yeah. Your father owns, he's the kid whose father owns a bar <laughs> in New York. Actually right. the person who got me into real estate back when I was in, still in college, uh, junior in college. Now we buy hotels and we can- Don't say I'm the place. reason you dropped out of college. I didn't drop out of college. Don't blame me. No, 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 no. You were partying was... too much like Ben <laughs> Jr. and Benson. I started my own construction business when I was 18 and then I dropped out because I was making twice what a civil engineer would and I'm just like, why am I here? Look, what typically do you build? What kind of Square foot? 320 to 350 square foot. They're, they're all studios, one to one. But you'd be surprised, the market for that in Orlando is insane. I knew you, you had, had to your bring boat a gift. Here, and I was recently in Japan and maybe oh, more man. for Carla, oh. four year old sake. Sake, so sake. Maybe you and, uh, you and That's Carla really, really it. nice. We actually spoke on live stream last year. I bought two houses since. And That's great. I'm in the residential game and watching you all the time. And Hide it for my wife, so. I can save it for my special guests. <laughs> do head level too, so I look skinnier. I'm not gonna look skinnier no matter what I do. I've been in real estate for about uh, just just going on a year. I've done about 12 million in sales. From that's just that's great, calling. already one year? Yeah, 99% of my business is from cold calling. Yo, I learned a lot from Ben. I own properties in Miami, well, it's 14 doors in total. I'm not used to touching a man that's with no right. clothes on. <laughs> I was on a run. I'm a huge fan. I didn't know you were even going to be here. You smell like my wife, Joey, after she runs. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate hey, it. Here, keep it up. Here we go. How are you? How are Jake, you? Jake, nice to meet Jake. you. Jake. What kind of cigarettes you smoke? Jeez. <laughs> if you don't know what kind of cigarettes I smoke, you, I don't even know why you're taking a picture with me. I just want you to sign that for me. I'm it's illegal. It's against all. the law to sign money. Thank I look you. forward to the uh, the hotel meeting in Tampa. A guy like him, he could wear a shirt like this and look like a million bucks, and the women will love him. He he could wear a shirt like this. I could wear a shirt like that. Okay. I'd look like the fucking Garden of Eden if I wore that shirt. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. So I came here. Uh oh, he brought prepared. me. You're serving me papers. He's here to serve me a fucking lawsuit. He's a sneaky bastard. I knew he was watching me. He didn't have to bring that for me. I already. You put on the boat. He, oh, That's man. Our grandma. Very, very yeah, much. Yeah, Manny, put this where my wife will not find it. Can I put it on my room? Not in your room. Uh oh, the IRS is here. Get out of here. I knew he was following me around, the IRS. I turned the tax return in already. Leave me alone. <laughs> we work for Patrick Bet David. Patrick Bet, Bet David. David. That rings a bell. Give you a tour of the Value Entertainment headquarters, the podcast studio, the vault. We drove past there. I wanted to knock on the door, and he was too scared. I was going to go knock on your door and say, hey, what are you guys doing? And he said, no, don't bother them. They're very, uh, you know, appointments and all that. He was right by the way you dressed. I'm taking a shower out here in Riverwalk. It's hot out here. I don't want to sweat on people. You know, be courteous. Look at that. Freshen up. Towel. I mean, you could be homeless. You know that. We'd work out pretty good. If I ever went broken and went homeless, I'd have to have Matt come with me so, you know, he could help me get cleaned up and shit. What's the problem? Why are you picking Sierra, on this poor lady? New realtor. Yes. She's got a question for you. Okay. How can I help you? You're a real estate agent? How long do you have your license? Um, about a month. A month? So you got the license, but you haven't signed up to a broker yet, right? Yeah. Are you in any kind of service industry or we interact with people or nothing like that? No? Because yeah. they're all customers. I tell us the guys, I tell us the girls, put on something very business-like, like you're going to sell a multi-million dollar house. Go to the places that are selling the big money houses and try to get in one of those places, okay? Because, you know, You'll fit right in. That's all I can tell you. And you're going to get around people making money. Uh -oh. You got knocked down in delivery? How are we what? doing today? That's what we're doing. <laughs> delivery knocked I don't know. I don't think you, people want to open that door and see you there with a bag of food. You still here, lady? When did you get out of jail? I got out the day after you did. <laughs> That's my sidekick. That's Jen. You guys are definitely a duo, let me tell you. What can I get you today, love? Matzo bry. Pan fried. Don't put a little butter in the pan this time. Make it nice and delicious. Don't be cheap on the locks. And put some eggs in it this time, you know? We're supposed to mix the eggs up with the matzo crackers. Do you want me to score you to the kitchen and you could tell them how you'd like it? I, mean, I could do that. I could, but then I gotta start charging you for coming in and doing uh, cooking consulting. Oh, please. Yeah. People are waiting here. Let's go. Come on, lady. You're moving too slow. Let's go. Let's go. New York, you wouldn't last two seconds in a deli. Get him some new gloves. I want him to double his gloves. Who knows where his hands have been? <laughs> you wanted Nova Shreds put into your matzo, your matzo bride? I gave him two cups to give you. Two cups of yes. Nova? Yes. Two All cups right? of Nova? He's never given out two cups of Nova for anything. To, to anybody. You're not allowed in the kitchen. If she looks at the food, it'll spoil. You look great. You look great. 16 pounds I lost. Very good. Keep See that diabetes, it'll help you. We'll just continue to eat healthy. That's it. Stop eating here. <laughs> You're so silly. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. What'd you get? Brisket? There we go, baby. Yeah, we're talking. Award winning matzo brine. He put a lot of locks in there. Onions, locks, eggs, matzo. That's a matzo brine. Best breakfast you ever ate. I woke up this morning thinking about this, and here I am, I'm having it. Holy man! He's probably having a heart attack as they put all the extra locks in it. Just ruined my meal. He told me that he had his hands all over his Nova slicing it up on Saturday. I didn't say I had my schmeckle, and then I said I had my hands on it. Yeah, but you were probably playing with your schmeckle before you sliced the Nova. Or no one knew you sliced the Nova, and then you play with your schmeckle because you got all the grease from the Nova on it. <laughs> You're a sick person. I normally, I know I don't say a lot of nice things, but that was the best breakfast I ever had. Probably one of the best breakfasts of my life. And I've been around 57 years. Whoever's back there, keep them back there. And I will. Don't let her back there. <laughs> I don't know. Can I borrow any money for the tip? What do you need? What do you need? <laughs> you got more than I have. Um, yeah. I, I made a good bet yesterday. As a better, you demand perfection, and my bookie delivers. NFL, college football, and a brand new cash out system that gives you options to bet and win all season long. First two legs of your parlay hit, cash out early, and use the funds on another bet. Or 
Let it ride, baby, for the chance at a bigger payday. Join the MyBookie family for an entire season filled with odds boosts, free bets, and super contests. This season, MyBookie has a no-strings-attached cash bonus that lets you deposit and withdraw quick. Use promo code MALA on a deposit of $50 or more, and you can receive up to $200 in cash instantly to your MyBookie account. Again, that's promo code MALA to claim your cash deposit bonus. You can bet anything, anytime, anywhere, only with my bookie. Always bet responsibly. Thank you, my bookie, for sponsoring this video. We had a meet and greet last night. Some great guys from Patrick Bet David. That's Bet David, not Ben David. They asked us to come by and say hello. Come on in, guys. Look where he parks his bike. It's funny, he drives a motorcycle in a suit, a three-piece suit. It's not just a suit, it's a three-piece suit. He's got the vest. All for you, Ben. Who picks your clothes out every day? Your mommy? I do. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Patrick's Very good. Senior business coach. You need to teach him how to dress. <laughs> this is the famous vault. The vault? Where's the money? Uh-oh. See, if anybody comes in here and causes any trouble, they see him, they ain't causing no trouble. <laughs> How's Suge doing? Hey, he'll, be he'll be out soon? Yeah, I'm gonna hook up with him when he gets out. This is the vault. You know, I had to rip a vault out of a space once because the bank moved out. Very nice, very nice. High class, high class. What do you got here? Oh, value tin and pin. What? The value tin and pin, the logo. Oh, that's company. your logo. Yeah. You're a company man. Yes, sir. Very good. That's how it should be. Anybody here looks like they either work for the IRS or the Secret Service. <laughs> Well, we, we have to represent Pat uh, the best way possible. Very good. This is what I'm represented by. <laughs> Polak with a, a wrinkled shirt. What's up, man? Adam, man. Adam, how are, how are you? you? How's Eve doing? Great to meet you. She's doing hot. That's What's great. What's up, bro? Why don't you learn from these guys? These guys know how to color coordinate and dress. What time do you start your limo job? <laughs> Even people like you can be successful in life. Thank you. I think that's the first non-joke you've made. Or maybe it was a joke. I don't talk about hoes. I'm married. A divorce would cost me too much. A divorce, well, next time. A divorce would kill me worse than the interest rates right now. It's called cheaper to keep. You got it. I know it. Do you own any real estate? No, I'm actually a, a, a big renter guy, and I own REITs. Because I keep it moving, flexible. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Yeah. Basically, he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. He's a big prima donna. He doesn't want to work for a living. He'd rather put yes. his money somewhere and let other people work for a living. Correct. Smart guy. Yeah. The top. You? I don't know. <laughs> All right, get somebody to clean this carpet in here or replace it. Welcome. Thank you. To the HQ. Another color coordinated person. How come you can't learn from the people around you? I feel like you oh, need I'm someone to pick on, so I'm honored that I'm the punching <laughs> bag. I, it's an honor. I would never punch you. Fancy Fat place here, boy. Here, uh, you can always tell a place by the snacks they got. These are snacks for guys that like to be healthy. Give me some Kit Kats. Put a couple of Hershey bars in there. Where do you sleep? Uh, actually... In that corner over there? <laughs> under that desk? Yes. Nice to meet you, Roy. You're a manager? Yes. Ooh, you made it up to manager. One day you'll make it up to manager. <laughs> He's on his way. Yeah. Meanwhile, put him back in the valet. Did I tell you I was a chauffeur? I believe it. I can or tell you, you used to wear that suit. That. Yeah. I get this feeling, intuition, you call it. Mm -hmm. You know, you look like a driver. He would drive me crazy if I had to put up with him. One of the things I like about this guy is... Uh, one thing. The, it's only one thing. Go ahead, tell the us. The level of focus he has and the level of passion that he has for the vision that we have here. Yeah. And this goes equal with this. Unfortunately, his girlfriend doesn't say that. <laughs> no girlfriend. <laughs> she had a lot of people working here. I hate to be the guy making payroll. How you doing, right. man? Good to see you. How long have you been out now? <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Since calling people. Calling sales. people? Yeah, doing all that. Uh, I think you I called call me you. once. I hung up on you. <laughs> when do you get a desk in this joint? This is my desk with all the inspiration. Oh, the one that says men's on it? It's good to hire the special needs. <laughs> Damn. All right. Keep doing whatever you're doing. It was so nice to have you back. It was so nice this to be one. here. Are you related thank to thank Mr. You Rogers? All, thank you for all you ever seen a Mr. Rogers Neighborhood show? That's you seen the movie? Uncle. That is my uncle. Yeah, you look like you're related to him and Pee Wee Herman. Like, Come on, just get it all out. I want it all. Is you it want it all? You couldn't Waldo, take it Jake all. You couldn't Farm. handle it all. Oh, you bet I can. Will somebody please teach him how to color coordinate? To nice you. to meet you. 
You, it was an experience. <laughs> oh, I have two ducks. I have two ducks. That quack, I quack. For, um, and a cat. Listen, stop telling me. The more ducks. you tell me, the stranger I think you are. I thought you were already strange. Great emotional support animals for this emotional. generation. It's all about the emotional support, you know? Uh, you know, I got the opposite. I got a wife. That's the opposite of emotional support. You better not let them get loose and go around any Chinese restaurant in your neighborhood because yeah. they'll be gone. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What you got in the bag? Got some plantains, got some yogurts, some blueberries, some body wash. I got some yogurts, I got some blueberries, and later I'm going to take a nice shower. I got my body wash. Yeah. How are you? It's a hell of a suit you got there, boy. It's kind of warm. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. But they do need to fix this parking lot up. They, the inside of the building is over the top, but you know, put a little money in a parking lot. Let's get this thing dug up. Let's get some asphalt here. If you got a drainage problem, put a drain in. How are you? How are you? Good. Sunshine Good. Valet, the sunshine yes, baby. Sir. Grand opening. I came prepared. Look at that. Ready for Hot as hell, and I'm still gonna put a sport coat on. It. Just so everybody knows, Matt arranged all this tonight. I did. <clears throat> so if it turns into a disaster, it's his fault. Come on in, ladies. Hey, how are you? How you doing? How you doing? I want this to be the kind of place where you can't get in if you ain't slipping a guy a $100 bill. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I think they decorated it really nice. If the food's as good as they say, I'll tell you one thing, the price is very reasonable. How's that veal chop, Frankie? This one's a kind of moonlight. All right. On the bone. On the bone. How are you? How are you? This guy's a fucking legend. How are, How are you? How are you doing? We're big fans of This guy's like Mr. Potter in A Wonderful Life. He owns everything in town. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want to tell you who's he's like. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. What the hell are you wearing? That's he's going book back book into the... Eight. This is what you call the Sopranos look. All right, the New Jersey Sopranos look. Well, you know why he has to wear that? Because he never knows when he's got to run. <laughs> <laughs> he always want to be in a running suit. Man, you know what I love best about this place? A beautiful, brand new ashtrays. You know, that's class. Stainless steel. I ain't got ashtrays like that in my hotel. That's nice shit, Matt. Make sure you put one of those in my Bentley. Okay. Goo for you. That's a good steak. That's a real chop. That's a real chop. How'd you like it? I didn't like it. Are these two related or what? I would swear they were fucking brothers. Okay. No, he's closer than my cousin. Yeah. Cousins together. Yeah, they spent a lot of time together. You know what I mean. I was telling him, enjoy your smokes. Yeah, smoke them if you got them. He well, listen, we don't want we don't want what he smokes, trust me. Okay. Holy shit. So you're driving a Maybach now. Don't make my fucking head look big. This guy has a nose like he can snort Peru. Like a awning. It's like a fucking awning. Yeah. We're at Frankie's Italian Chop House on 4th Street in St. Petersburg. And you're going to get the best Italian food your mouth has ever tasted. I had the veal that was out of this world. Everything was fabulous. And the prices are reasonable. You're not going to get ripped off like all those other places. So come on down to Frankie's Italian Chop House. We got Frankie the chef. You know he knows how to cook. <laughs> and remember, never trust a skinny chef. <laughs> you like the videos? Come hang out with us in person at my hotel. And we're gonna be celebrating an early birthday. The whole gang will be there. We're gonna have food. We're gonna be talking about everything you wanna talk about in real estate. You're gonna be networking. It's gonna be a real estate party, baby. Go to bedmountain.com slash live. Get your room, baby. Get your ticket to the event. We're gonna be partying at night. Check out my bookie. Place your bet. Subscribe. Watch another video. Hit the like button. Adios, amigos.